sir at the outset i want to note that we are having a very meaningful serious discussion on a very sensitive issue instead of resorting to mud slinging on each other outside parliament i note this sir we attach greater importance to our defense that is why every year the different defense budget goes up no reduction as far as defense budget is concerned but still we are lagging behind in achieving self reliance as far as production of indigenous arms and ammunition when the issue was raised at some point of time in the past the then defense minister mr antony who is sitting here assured the house the government will pursue the trend positive trend towards building self reliance as far as arms production is concerned that's what he said in the house but we are yet to achieve self reliance the present defense minister should take note of this that is where we start importing arms and ammunitions from other countries and uh, while we do so we come across scams and scandals we saw bofors scandal we saw and uh, as uh, professor ram gopal said the bofors guns proved to be effective in kargil war that's a different story but issue was corruption was there then sir we witnessed the coffin scam at one point of time then when uh, the present minister mr vk singh was army chief there were several allegations in the army on various issues i am not getting into those details but i am making a point when he was army chief there were allegations now we are discussing chopper scam sir in 2013 the issue was raised discussed in rajya sabha that time the congress government was there they were prepared to have a jpc jpc but mr now the leader of the house he was leader of the opposition is opposed the constitution of jpc saying it is an exercise in futility yes. he said it will be an exercise in futility some other leaders also said it will become a political cover up that is how jpc was not constituted but the case was handed over to cbi cbi now two years have passed after you came to power what is the progress made by cbi if you have evidence if cbi all said and done there are criticism against cbi also but cbi is the premier investigative agency we should respect that agency it is our agency we have constituted and all said and done it is the premier investigative agency it has done some work now you are at the command you are in power what progress cbi has made what review you have made instead of making charges leveling charges you tell the house tell the house as far as defense deals are concerned there is no transparency and uh, as far as corruption is concerned everybody will solemnly declare there should be zero tolerance towards corruption all parties declare that all parties say that we fight corruption but why corruption continues why corruption in defense sector continues that's what we should say sir let us honor <coughs> our jawans our army our navy our air force they are working in difficult conditions safeguarding the country's defense and security of the country and i will not i will not blame our jawans for scams these scams are all at higher levels at higher levels and what cbi has done so far and you come before the house 
with your progress report and let the uh, let you ask the cbi to speed up the work complete the work with a time frame and as baganji has said let there be a yeah, supreme court uh, monitoring supervision on the case why why not that's what uh, we want to ask government should respond government should tell us what is your understanding are you trying to use it only for political purpose or to fight corruption and i tell both the sides or all the sides let us not politicalize the fight against corruption let us fight corruption as corruption and it is eating the vitals of our democratic polity and we cannot have such corrupt practices to continue particularly in the defense sector and in defense deals that is where i earnestly urge upon the government you ask the cbi to speed up its work with a time frame and let the investigation be monitored by supreme court let the country know the truth let the parliament know the truth let the people know the truth let the culprits don't go uh, not, not to go scot free and if there are culp culprits they should be brought before the law of the land and they should be punished why not after all we are a country which believes in rule of law law let law take its course and if somebody has committed mistake betrayed the confidence of the nation they must be punished and uh, one should not play with uh, defense deals and uh, after all it uh, concerns the security of the nation security of the people that is where sir once again i urge upon the government instead of making speculative statements instead of making political statements in public domain you really ask the cbi to complete the work you give a time frame and tell the house today what is your time frame and <coughs> ask the cbi to monitor the case and let the country know the truth thank you sir okay thank you very much